You've never wanted to shroom or anything like that? Only like recently, but I, I one time I I ate uh ate two and a half pot brownies and went to the airport to fly to Costa Rica just because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I was with somebody else who didn't never really consumed it. So she she ate half of one. Yeah. And she goes, Well, you're bigger, eat a whole one. So oh, I ate the whole God. one. And I'm sitting there and she's going, I'm starting to feel it. Starting to feel it. And I'm like, I'm not feeling anything. She goes, Well, maybe you need another one. Oh, so I no. ate another one. Oh, oh God. No. God. And, damn. No, and they were no. like they were like the size of like oh. bathroom tiles. <laughs> no. Fucking down these things. No, no, no. So then the car comes and I'm still not feeling anything. And we're going to leave, and I didn't want to leave food out, and I got a sweet tooth, so I'm like, fuck it, I'll eat the last half. No! Right yeah. So I get in the fucking car, everything's going good, and no. she's looking at me. I go, I don't feel anything. And she's looking, she goes, you're high. I go, I'm not high. She goes, I can see on your face, you're fucking high. I go, I'm not fucking high. And I, I made a phone call to somebody, and they never returned my call. I don't know what the fuck I said. But uh, <laughs> I fucking... Um, <laughs> And I saw the person too. We were developing a show, and I called the writer. I was like, I got all these ideas. And, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and we continued to develop the show, and he never brought up the phone call. Um, so I get to the airport, and I'm like, I'm fine. I don't feel anything. I paid the guy, and I stepped out. And right as I stepped out, it was like, fucking boom. Oh, yeah. And it was like, it felt like, you know, like when your foot falls asleep yeah. really bad? It yeah. felt like there was a ball of that, like, sit, like, hovering right over my head. Like, yeah. there was a the sun of that feeling. <laughs> And I went in there, dude, and I just started fucking laughing in the airport, and I couldn't stop because I, I didn't know how to control the high. I was just fucking dying. And I went in, and you know, you either slide your passport or you stick your, the credit card in. Yeah. I swear to God, like a bad movie, I was trying to stick my passport <laughs> in, into the credit card thing. I know, so hacky. That's what I was doing. And I was flying Continental Airlines. You got hacky in the middle of and, your high. And, <laughs> and the lady comes over and she tapped me on the shoulder, one of the Continental ladies, and she took my passport out of my hand and then she just slid it for me. And then I just looked at her and I go, oh, I go, thanks. And I looked away and I think for like 90 seconds was crying laughing. I was like, <laughs> just, I was, my wife said I was laughing so hard it looked like somebody I knew died. Like, I looked like I was mourning. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got to security and this paranoia just came over me and I just started fucking taking everything off. I was like, I just don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. And, oh I, and I got God. through security. I was like, thank God. I was just, was just so slow. And I could feel everybody was just going like 90 miles an hour. I was just slowly just taking the shit out of the bins. And then this black dude working security just goes, he goes, yo, my man, my man, Chappelle Show. Yo, Chappelle Show. <laughs> And I look over, he goes, he goes, hey man, he goes, when's that show coming back? And I was like, oh, I don't know. And then I looked in another 90 seconds, I was <laughs> dying laughing. Dying fucking That's laughing, fucking and I great. somehow made it to the gate. How dude, long were you high? Oh, dude. like, like, dude, like when I got on the fucking plane, like this paranoia, I was like, I was looking at my wife, like, what did you put in this? It's fucking crazy. <laughs> I remember there was this little kid. This little toddler that they had dressed in a fucking suit, you know, that's cute, right? Yeah, yeah. And I remember when we were in the terminal, he was talking like, hey, da, 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 da. And I felt like I could almost fucking get what he was saying. <laughs> and I was like, it was freaking me the fuck out. So I used Miles, and we were sitting first class, so I was sitting there, and I'm fucking freaking out. You know, when it starts to back up, the line's standing you, yeah. when that fucking kid stopped right next to me, and he's talking, going, ga, 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 in a fucking suit. Like this little Jay Leno looking kid, I was, I was just freak, dude. I just wanted to stand up and admit everything. Like, hey, two and a half punk brownies. I want to get off the fucking plane. I just had to get it. So for like, like two days, I was like weed. I was like weed hungover. Like I could feel it. Like I did damage to my brain, and I never really uh, fucked with it again. But yeah, um, that's a, I, I call the poison control center.